You want me to do it? I get nervous. I see that. I'll do it if you want. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. What's up, everybody? Um, so today we're sort of unboxing some new isopods. Um, I have two isopod cultures here containing some giant orange isopods and some dwarf whites. Um, but they're taking a little while to get started. They're relatively new cultures. And I don't really want to exhaust my populations by dosing out of them too soon. So I have a friend here locally who gave me some of his because his cultures are really booming. And uh, so this one here is my giant oranges. And they like to hang out on the cork bark there. You can see them doing their thing. And I'm finally starting to see... Bring the light a little more. Finally starting to see some babies in there. It's been about three weeks since I started this culture. So that feels pretty good to see things progressing. Check around a little bit. Seems good. I don't think they need any water today. And then this here is those dwarf whites, which we just added. They, for some reason, don't really like their cork bark as much. One spot they really like is down where this yeah, twig hangs out. Oh. On the run. Okay. Let's take a look in here. You can see here around my morning wood isopod food, we've got good little population doing their business and some little tiny little babies were there with them if you get in close you can see them hanging out doing their business so that feels good i feel like this culture is about to really take off and then i can hopefully seed out my bigger tanks but yeah pods seem to be doing good today because there's just not enough in here to seed from Let's start with the giant oranges. Pop them in here. All right, so we're going to start with the giant oranges and dose them in here. Probably going to start with about half of them. Uh, see if I can get them to start breeding in here. If not, I'll dose from the culture later. And let's just do them on the ground. Let them do their business. I think that's a good amount to start with. I'm free. And these are the, if you can see any of them, hanging out. Those are the dwarf whites there. There's a fair amount in here. I didn't use um, a soil substrate in this build. I used a turfus substrate. So I kind of want to avoid putting too much soil in here. So I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. Leave Get it. a magnolia leaf. Mm -hmm. Put the soil on the magnolia leaf. And That's then they'll idea. crawl off of it, and then you can take it out and dump it off. See, that's what I do. Come up with ideas. All right, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to actually put some of this onto a magnolia leaf, and hopefully... We can then remove the soil later after we've, um, after the ice spots crawl off the leaf. What a horrible ride. I think that'll be good to start with. I'm going to slide this. I think that'll be good. Oh, you can get lots of little isopods in there. Alrighty, let's go do the other tank now. Oh. Alright, <laughs> so for this one we're going to just do the rest of these oranges. Oh, 
hopefully they'll be happy in there. And then let's do the whites here. I think we're just going to dump them right in the back here, sort of out of sight a little bit. Yep. Agreed. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and uh, we'll catch you soon.